my friends and welcome back to the bench today we're going to be testing the metal lineup from the Oticon paint line by metals we mean you know gold titaniums and uh, and whatnot we're going to be going over those now they have a lot of different colors in this line I did an overview of them uh, about a year ago um, but I never broke down each one meaning you know they're opaques they're pearls they're clears, they're satin clears, all test, all are coming up. I figured, let me put those back. Figured let's start with the metal lineup because uh, it's a favorite of mine. I do like these metal colors. And uh, so we're gonna go over those. And I think I got everything in the lineup. I ordered everything they had. So anyway, why don't we start off with a giveaway. I haven't done one in a while, check this out. I got a couple of these kits, so I'll give one up. The Dom Test Type. This is a awesome kit. And uh, ripe for customizing with a great paint job. Good posability. This is an awesome kit. Look at that. Great features for uh, a high grade for sure. Uh, to, let's tip this over a little bit. To win the kit. Is the light bothering us? There we go. That's better. To win the kit, please like the video. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. But, you got to leave a comment to win. You got to leave a comment. So below, you got to leave a comment, and uh, I'll use a comment picker, randomly pick a comment, and then I'll contact you. It's uh, it's for the United States only. Sorry, anybody else out there. I tried shipping a few things, and it's ridiculous. I, I think I tried to ship something to Europe. They wanted two hundred and ten dollars at FedEx, <laughs> something, some small too. I said forget it. Um, but yeah, this is for U.S. residents only, so uh, just so you know. Don't stop from leaving a comment. Please leave a comment and uh, say, you know, let me know if you're from the U.K., but if you want to talk about the video and the paint, you know, please, I encourage that. But anyway, there you go. I am not going to put this in the headline as a giveaway because uh, we get too many scammers. I've been not mentioning it. Any of my giveaways and the scams have pretty much slowed down. You can't mention anything in the uh, title or description. So what I'll do is on my social media, maybe I'll put up, uh, I'm giving uh, these away on Instagram or whatnot. Maybe we'll drive some uh, some guys to the video. But the real reason for the video is these Oticon paints. Now let's see what we got. Gold. Super Chrome. Oop, where are we here? Dark Iron. These look totally different once they're painted than what we're seeing in the jar here. I'll show you in a second. Gunmetal. Titanium. Star Silver. This will be in my Mega Silver comparison coming up. Champagne Gold. Oh, not quite gold there, but gold up here. This is what I meant. I'm going to show you. I'm going to steer them up and show you... Uh, how different they look once they're steered up. Star gold. What do we have here? And rose gold. All right. On camera, I think I'm going to do these three because they're quite different. And uh, more in the silver range of those. And one of these golds we'll, we'll do off camera. I am going to show every single one of them. We're going to spray them over a, a gloss black spoon. Oops. Don't hit the camera anymore. A gloss white spoon. Let's see if there's a difference. And for a chip, I got these plastic uh, strips. And I taped it off so I have a perfect square. And I'll write the name here. And we'll spray them on here too. We'll see what it looks like on a flat piece of plastic. Um, as far as shaking them goes, let me get my uh, Four E's paint shaker and show you what I mean by uh, how they look completely different once they're shaken up and painted. This is dark iron. Now, they all look the same when you flip them, but that's just the pigment settling. Check this out. I'll do it so you guys can see it. Can you see the silver just disappearing? Now, we have dark iron. So, holding them up and showing them underneath at that point was uh, fruitless, but I wanted to show you guys... Um, them steered up. Here's gunmetal. Let's see if you can see this one too. Ready? Oh, this one's going quick. Now, in each of the jars, I opened up and put my own 
hematite, uh, hematite, is that how you pronounce it, guys? Uh, beads. And um, it helps quite a bit. And they shake up literally, you just saw it in about 10 seconds. So we're going to stir all these up. Not that I need all of them for the camera. Uh, on camera, we're going to do these three. So let's see what we got here. This is champagne gold, right? Here we go. Oh, I can see it already bubbling up. There it goes. It's almost gold. We'll do a flip over. This thing's amazing, this uh, paint shaker. I know it's 100 bucks, but boy, I use it every day, and it works. And at that point, I will tell you it's worth it. There you go. Now, if you can see the paint at the bottom bubbling up, and you can see it leveling off, that means you've got all of the pigments off the bottom, and it no longer has that look to it. So let's go ahead. These are airbrush ready. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. Um, these are airbrush ready, so we're just going to uh, suck some out with my pipettes directly in the airbrush. Um, I was going to use multiple airbrushes, but I'm going to use my Grex, and maybe one will try the Sotar, because it does like a, a fine needle, and uh, this is a fine spraying airbrush. This is a .3, which is also recommended uh, size for the airbrush. So we'll do... Uh, we're doing it in two different airbrushes. I'm growing fond of this Grex airbrush. I have more coming in for a test, by the way. Uh, anyway, let's head over to the Pace spray booth here. I'm set up in this room. The other room is the waterfall spray booth. I will do a few videos in the waterfall booth. Oh, I got a new booth coming in. Uh, another booth coming in this week. It's not waterfall. It's a low-priced option. A regular booth. And uh, fingers crossed it's a good one. I've heard good things. And uh, maybe you guys have a nice inexpensive option now for getting a spray booth and uh, it is cheap which is good but anyway onward to this test here we go we'll have it to the booth I'll pick one of these three and uh, let's see how they look all right guys here we go I'll leave this in in case I need more I don't think so we're gonna start off with champagne gold in the Grex we all loaded up this is 18 psi here we go. We'll put a quick leveling coat here on this piece of plastic. Goes on nice. All right, oh, off to a good start. That is nice. All right, let's go over black. Get some of the dust off this thing. Here we go. There we go. Let's check it out over white. Complete different look over white. But nice nonetheless. All right, let me clean this out. We're going to use a little lacquer thinner to clean it out and on to the next color. All right, guys, next up is here we go rose gold. It's more like a brass or a copper. All right, let's go. Let's we'll start over that piece of plastic. Oh, nice color. Can you see it already? There it is. It's tough to see under this lighting. This lighting is good for color shifts, but uh, not much else. Wow, that, uh, that went on smooth. All right, that one's, wow, it's a good looking color too. All right, that's one. Let's look at it over white. Good looking color. All right, let's try it over black. That black spoon, here it is. Don't know how much this changes everything, but that's 
but we're gonna find out. Some of these paints are really opaque and uh, it doesn't matter what it goes over. But uh, yeah, there it is. All right, let me uh, clean this out and we'll go on to another color. All right guys, last one on camera I guess will be uh, Star Gold. Oh, that is bright. Like I said, we're gonna try it in this Sotar 2020 from Badger. Here we go. Black plastic first. Wow, this airbrush likes it. Laying it down real nice. Much quieter airbrush compared to the Grex. You, you can hear the just air being pushed right through that Grex. All right, that looks good. Wow. All right, let's try it over white. I don't know, oh, I was going to say, I don't know if we can see it, but boy, it is going to show up. Wow, look at that. That is intense. Wow. And the black spoon. Not that it's going to look much different than the black plastic. We already sprayed it on. I just realized I'm being a little redundant here. I do like this color. This looks kind of like uh, Gaia's star gold. I guess that's why they're calling it that. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let me let these dry. Let me clean out the brush. I'll beat you back at the desk. And we'll go over every color. All right, here we are back at the bench with the results. Uh, I have a few, quite a few, new subscribers who always ask uh, what mask I use. I use this Rhino. You can see the Rhino right there. And uh, has these replaceable, which last quite a long time, actually. Replaceable filters on the side. These pop off. And you change them and um, it's comfortable I can use my reading glasses which I use when I spray right here fits on the head really comfortable goes around the back right here and uh, yeah so I get a few questions about this one and this is what I use this Rhino I'll put a link below very inexpensive I think it's $16 $17 it's under 20 bucks and um, you can get the replacements but believe it or not these last a really long time so you're gonna get your money's worth for your 16 bucks um, that is the mask, the respirator that I use. Um, okay, let's go over the results. No particular order here, Super Chrome. All right. Over the black plastic, we got nothing special. All right. Over uh, plain plastic, a little bit of a shine. Huh? Kind of nice, actually. But then, over the shiny black... Yes, we're getting chrome, a nice dark chrome. Look at that. That is not bad, you know, compared to the chromes I test. And this being a uh, just a regular lacquer, nothing different, no alcohol base or anything. It's just part of their lineup. This is a pretty durable, nice chrome. I mean, uh, I might have to feature this in its own video with a chrome test. Look at it. I mean, obviously, you're going to get this when you spray chrome. I knew something was up, and I didn't realize it was a true chrome like an all clad so look at that right now that's one of the winners of the whole batch that's a very good chrome next up what do we have here just gold nothing fancy just gold um, very sparkly gold but a real deep gold this would probably look great for candies over it matter of fact they have candy clear colors in their lineup I'll probably use this as one of the bases when I go to test that. Here it is over white, completely different. And this is over a black spoon. A shiny black spoon. So look at that, you're getting three different golds right there. Alright. Next up, what do we have here? Dark iron, alright. Only got two to show you here, black and white. Look at that. That is nice. You can see the comparison to the black where it went over right there, the plastic. Look at that. That is a real, that's a really good color. And here it is over the white. Nice tone to it. Oh, wow, that, that's a good color, guys, right there. Dark iron. Kind of color I really do like. Wow, that's awesome. Next up is gunmetal. Another fantastic color look at this
over black, over white. Well, this one is really opaque, so not much of a difference here at all. Wow, great colors. These are really good colors. What do we have here? Titanium. All right. Titanium. Nice and even. Oh, here we go, side by side over the black. And here it is over black. Here it is. This is black. This was white. You can see it right there, the difference. And this is over the black, dull plastic. So shiny black, shiny white, matte black. All right, what do we got next? Uh, star Silver. All right. Here we go. I think I had this on white, and there was no difference. For some reason, I think I left it in the other room. There was, like, no difference on this. I'm not quite sure why. But uh, there you go. Star Silver. This will be featured in the... Uh, silver video coming up it looks really good over black though look at that that is a nice even silver beautiful all right what do we got next oh this one's to be done on camera champagne gold all right here we go over the black plastic wow that is nice and even a really nice color uh, over black and over white Really different over the white, huh? Compared to the black, wow. I didn't get that with some of the other colors, but I really got it with the gold. Champagne gold. All right, getting towards the end here. What do we got? Oops. Bopping over there. Uh, rose gold. All right. Look, the silver pigments have already settled. It's a color up here. Back here's a different color altogether. Oops. All right, rose gold. Very good looking color this is. This is a really nice gold. Can't really pick up the red here on the camera, it seems. Let's see if we can get over here. White and black. You can see it right there, the best shading. Much, uh, much redder in person. Sometimes it's tough to get these lighting just right. Boy, it, it, it's really nice, though. You can't even see the flake in this. It's it's a real even. See, there's no like heavy flakes in it. It's a real even. Uh, oops, get this out of the way. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. That is awesome. Almost look like it's plated. Very nice. And the last one is. Oh, let's put this back. Last one is star gold. All right. Star gold. This is another one that's really bright that I would probably put candy over it here it is over white really intense this over white looks just like the Gaia star gold here it is over black almost like a plated gold there you go really nice really impressive lineup of colors uh, and, and uh, they have a ton of different things I showed you the pearls the opaques the 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 candies but uh, this lineup of metallic colors is really nice um, they can come recommended by me for sure. I think they're really fantastic, particularly this dark iron. Look at that. And uh, this gunmetal and this chrome is really good. That is a good chrome. Look at that. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll put a link below where I got these. I think I got these at New Type. I think I got these at New Type. Um, I, I buy from everybody, so it's not to get confused where this stuff comes from. Um, they're battling it out to who gets the, the paints. A lot of... Uh, a lot of Retailers are going to carry only this brand. You can't get it anywhere else. And that's what seems to be where the battle seems to be uh, happening. But, uh, all right, guys, that's the test. I like them. Thumbs up for these. Um, don't forget, ha, ah, leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already for a chance to win this awesome Dom test type high grade kit. Look at that. That is a great kit. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm not going to put it anywhere else. You have to watch the video to realize there's a giveaway in it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Um, if you're curious about seeing these sprayed over different colors, you know, I'll, that's where the uh, Patreon comes in. I can uh, customize anything you want in those videos. Hey, I want to see what this looks like over uh, yellow or red. 
So I'll do a red base and I'll spray them over the red and then we'll do it on video and I'll show that to you. Or you can just uh, chat with me directly. We'll use that too. Um, a, lot of guys, a lot of you guys just have questions that want to go back and forth with me and I do it. I, t I chat all night on Patreon. So uh, that's what I set it up for. That's what it's for. I'll leave it right below uh, the video where you can join my Patreon. It's very cheap. It's like four bucks. I think I have it set for. So it helps the channel immensely. It helps me get all these paints, all these supplies, the new booth coming in so I can uh, test them so you guys don't have to waste your money or your money well spent. Anyway, guys, God bless you so much. You guys are absolutely the best. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. I'll see you midweek. I might have a new spray booth to test. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed it shows up in time. Um, I'm supposed to be here midweek. And uh, I know a lot of you guys, the, the other boots I've been testing are on the high expensive side. This is on the cheap side, uh, as far as boots go, anyway. Uh, we're talking around 100 bucks. So uh, I hope it works. I don't know. That's why I ordered it. That's why we're going to test it. Anyway, guys, have a great day. See you in the next video.